Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back and heading into the Chronom section for the last first person shooter map in the uh, Ari section. Uh, yes, this is auto build FPS number one. We have done two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Maybe there's an eight. I'll actually have to take a look at that. I haven't actually done a search on this. You know what, let's do a search right now. Hey, URI. Let us see. There is an eight. So we actually have an eight to do. Oh my, oh my. And it does look like these are also probably first person shooter maps. Uh, I have not actually looked because that looks like a very first person shooter section y. Uh, it is, no, okay, never mind. But that's fine. We do have an eight. I will be doing that next time. And then I will be branching out into the other first person shooters for the first person shooter segment. Again, I am going to try and do other map creators after this, but I think this is a good first set. So let's go for that. But we are checking out number one right now. So let's jump into it and see how the original is. We won't have an upgrade system, I believe. Uh, and if I remember correctly, in number two, it said sprayers are always on and that works better, which means in this one, sprayers won't be always be on. So that's not going to work so good. Uh, but yeah, this is the first map. Look at that. There is some power thing there, an item, a uh, totem. No, it's a, it's an item. It is an item. Uh, there we go. So we have an item right by our base. We do have bombers. Fantastic. Uh, I don't know what's going to power us up. I believe these actually power us up. The items do power us up. It's not based off of power or anything like that. It's about the items that you collect. So clearly, we're going to want that right there. We're going to want that right there. And then we're going to zoom down here. Of course, we could go straight through the, you know, the Cavern of Doom. But we're not. We're going to go down here. We're going to take this. It'll be super easy. It will help us out. And then we're going to go down the Cavern of Doom and around the little loopy path. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Let us get going. Uh, custom one. Please, please, please. Custom one. You can do it. Uh, custom one. Thank you. I don't know why uh, it has been so difficult uh, for custom one to work in the last map and this one. I don't know why. But it is uh, for me. You know, maybe I'm just that bad. I don't know. But look at that. Ooh, look at that. Cannon upgrade. Mortar upgrade. Done and done. I love it. I love it. We already got a nice little upgrade. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, we didn't even do anything. We didn't even earn it. It was just like, yeah, you're getting an upgrade. So, yeah. I'm going to take it. I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> and I'm going to have a good time. Look at that. Cannon upgrade again. Uh, we're at 145% of what we originally started as, and we literally just started. Um, don't forget, it took me about 20 seconds to get into this, so whatever our final time is, I'm going to take 20 seconds off. Shh, 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 don't tell anybody. Uh, hopefully I remember that by the end of the video. If you don't like that, that's okay. If you do like that, let me know. I greatly appreciate to hear what you think. Uh, but yeah, our goal, above average. Again, that is the ultimate goal, is above average times. Uh, there is not nearly enough deep creep to use anything but the cannon right now. So, yeah, we're just cannoning it up. Let's get this bonus, though. This bonus is what we want more than anything else, of course. Uh, so, yeah, let's have some fun. Now, let's actually do a little bit of anti-creeper here to hold this top portion, uh, because I want these cannons. Uh, that sprayer, don't really care too much about. This cannon, definitely want. So, let's keep this up and that cannon should build fantastic fantastic um feeling pretty good we don't have any sprayer upgrades yet i believe so our sprayer is super weak uh can oh look at that the anti-creep held out just long enough oh the plan worked and the cannon was built happy days happy days sprayer times three. Ooh, that catches it up quite nicely so now our sprayer yeah, Oof, that times three, super noticeable, super noticeable. Of course, you see a wall, you go to a wall. You always cut them off at the walls. That's just, it's, it's first person anti-creeper or creeper world numero uno. Uh, even regular creeper world numero uno, I suppose. Cut them off at the walls uh, because it, it prevents them from coming from other directions. Now, I don't want to go down here just yet, but I assumed by taking this little front area, we would get some initial cannon protection. And as you see, there's actually quite a few cannons that I was able to build, so that's fantastic. And let's go straight for this emitter. No one likes emitters. Emitters, you're not my friend. 
Uh, but look at that, we already have some bombers coming down. I do hope these bombers move. I don't quite know if these bombers will move around the map, so that would be interesting. Uh, but if they just stay essentially in place the entire time, eh, it would kind of suck a little bit. Uh, not the end of the world, just not exactly the best. Uh, we could go for the back corner where stuff is happening, but I don't, I, I, I don't really care about that. I, I don't actually even care about taking anything right now. Uh, I'm going to sort of seed this up uh, and you know, stop that. But I want this. I want this upgrade more than anything else. I'm just. I'm just going on a little. Uh, a little mission of my own. That's right. I don't care if this can build. I don't even care. Uh, because I'm going to take this corner. We're going to take all of this. That is our mortar. Okay, so now our mortar is caught up to basically the times three train, which is fine. Uh, and yeah now we can just come back because our mortar has been upgraded don't really care about the mortar too much but look at that it does okay the mortar is pretty good at times three uh, i'm feeling pretty good about that we did lose the nullifier i think i'm actually surprised by that i figured what was there could hold the nullifier but that's fine we'll get this back area and yeah basically that emitter is is, is done uh, there's nothing this emitter can do. We we just completely decimate everything around us. So, yeah. Y you're done, son. Um, but there we go. Uh, we even have an M-Rift over here. Interesting place for an M-Rift. I guess it's because it's right near the uh, green arm mother, which is fantastic. But let's clear it all up. Uh, I think this should be enough because this cannon will build and once the cannon is built we're in a very solid state fantastic let's move on no one cares about anything else and with our glorious mortar upgrade we're gonna cut a line in the middle you see we cut a line in the middle that means when we take out the front there isn't uh, there isn't anything to really reinforce it reinforcement i still believe is a thing uh i do apologize if you have left a comment with uh any true information on that uh, because, I'm not gonna lie, I actually have done all of the first-person videos, uh, minus eight. I'm not gonna do eight tonight, I don't think, in one night of, uh, four through one. Uh, I just sort of was on a bit of a kick, so these are very, very well pre-recorded. So, they will be released probably over the span of the next week and a half, uh, obviously. You will probably know this way better than, uh, current me, uh, because they will have already been released, of course. Uh, but let us see what we get in this power box. Uh, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. I love it, I love it, and I love multiplicative natures of things. This is very, very nice. So, there we go. Up, up, up. Let's take out the top. As they said, they like to put mortars on the top, so why go straight for the emitter when you can go to the top over here, get some easy cannons built up, and then, uh, yeah, now we can take out the emitter with extra firepower on our side, you see. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. No one likes you, emitter. I said that to the last one. Man, I'm very, I'm very rude to emitter. I'm not going to lie. A little too rude, so I will have to cut it back, but oh, one of the beauties that that is us is that we don't care about darkness. I'm just going to go right in here. That's right. It's dark. It's creepy. It's creeper in the dark. Ooh, it's creeper after dark. Oh, my. Oh, we could do videos where we get drunk. Oh, my gosh. Creeper after dark. Maybe that's Maybe that'll be a thing one day. I don't know. Let me know if that's what you want to see. If you want to see uh, maybe some wind-up old me uh, doing some maps, your suggestion, of course, I would appreciate it. If you do want me to do this, please suggest some maps for me to do it. Maybe they're hard, maybe they're easy. I don't know, but if I'm not in the right frame of mind, that's going to be quite interesting for sure. Uh, that did get nullified, so good, 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 good. good. Uh, we are in a glorious state fantastic and we want to move up the hill again it's all about moving up the hills so there should definitely yep there we go there's a mortar up here there we have it Ooh, my oh my uh, and they are finally putting in that nullifier which means they're finally going to start building stuff boop 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 get our nice wall down that is not anything we care about uh let's actually do some thinning shall we just, just just, get some thin, you know? Really take it down from what's coming at us. 
and that's gonna really lighten the load. Because now again, as you can see, we're gonna take this out, and look at that, there's no reinforcement, there's nothing behind it. So it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, we've gotten through the Dark Tower. Glorious, glorious, glorious days. And yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good indeed. Uh, boom, again, cut it off. That way, the flow works. Also, I guess maybe it's not necessarily reinforcement, but it's also, it, pr it makes it so the creep flows both directions. So even the creep that you're working on flows away from itself. So it makes, it splits up the creep that you're working on into two directions, which in turn, you know, makes that much easier, right? Because it's going behind itself, it's going in front of itself, it doesn't even know what it's doing at that point. Uh, yeah, that's that's my story. I'm sticking to it. We got any creep coming because I have lost too many things to this dastardly creep. Too many of my fellow canon brethren have fallen. But more importantly, I think I don't even care anymore. I should have done this earlier. Just made a quick beeline for this corner and gotten whatever power we could. Uh, I should be doing that much more often because you know what? Our power is what really matters. Am I right? Am I? I think I'm right. Uh, a little bit more power. Ooh, Sprayer upgrade. Yeah, let us go, go, go to Sprayer Town. That's what we want to see. Ooh, well, might be some Mortar Town, actually. Uh, get rid of that. Yeah, that was, that was a stash. No one likes a stash. Uh, I believe I've said some pretty nasty things ooh, about stashes in the past, too. Uh, strictly because, you know, again, stashes... In the pack experience, they, they have a use, usually in earlier maps, let, not so much in later maps. Um, later maps, the field gen completely takes the place of the stash, where earlier on, the stash can at least be used in the same kind of way a field gen is used, where you're making a push. So, you know, I feel bad for the stash, because its almost entire purpose is to sort of do those little pushes. Now, the argument is made, but the stash is there to double the amount of creep in it. And it takes so long usually to fill up, and the amount of creep that it's generating is generally not that influential in the grand scheme of things. So, so yes, but no. At least in, again, the pack maps and things like that. I'm sure there, there are mods or uh, ways in which stashes are semi-useful uh they will have some balance to them they will have some element of uh not surprise i want to say but some element of actual feasibility but in the majority of the settings i can't speak anything good about the stage pretty much at all although when i'm in an l pack or something i'm never upset to see it so I guess that's a good thing, right? So... Oh, I'm losing stuff, which is fine, because I don't care, because all I care about is that item right there. Boop, 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 right, let's not ourselves die and just get whatever that item is. There we go. Cannon and Mortar. I love it, I love it, I love it. That's what I want to see. That's, that's all I really wanted from this area. Oh, boop. Let's take out the stash, of course. Uh, because the stash will take back that section. And we don't want that taken back, of course. And let's go back to our strategy. And what is our strategy? It's to stay near the walls. Uh, as you can see, we want to push wall to wall. And as you can see right here, there is some glorious, glorious anti-creep generator. And there is a uh, emitter. Un-emitter? A-emitter? One kind of emitter that... I am saying an A word to establish on what it is. And there we have it. We are going to take this emitter by storm. Let's even, you know, pop it up with some anti creep, of course. And with that, we should actually be able to make a huge push, too. So as you can see, we cut out the uh, generation. I know we lost our generation over there. Don't really care too much because we're cutting out the emitter. And there... Is that emitter through the wall? No, that's just, just right over the, the bridge. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just keep the anti-creep going. I probably shouldn't even be shooting with a regular gun when I'm just sort of doing edge work. Uh, always use anti-creep when edging, you know? There we go. 
There we go. I mean, look at that. I mean, the anti-creep is really just pushing it back and keeping it back. Where when I was just using the cannon, I was just like, yep, this will just take out the, the little area and we'll sort of hold it while we do blah, 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 blah. But no, the anti-creep does all the work that you wanted it to do entirely. Uh, we've gotten plenty of upgrades. In fact, where's our next upgrade? Uh, is it that one? Or is it that one? Uh, I don't know. It does look like this keeps going around, so uh, I do think we need to uh, really do some work, but we're going to first take out. Again, as I said before, look at this. We want to cut off this, and now now I can see it. You can see it flowing this way. You can see it flowing that way. Uh, it does shrink it and make it that much easier because it's trying to go in multiple directions. Yay. Yes, yes, you're very confused, creep. You don't know what to do. You're gonna die. Or disappear. I mean, I don't know if you die. Kind of a ambiguous thought, really. You know, I mean, are we killing the creeper? Are we, you know, I mean, I was say hey, eliminate, but eliminate's kind of killy, isn't it? Uh, we're clearly not disposing of a creeper naturally evaporates right if there's just a tiny tiny bit of creeper on the ground it does naturally evaporate so maybe the we're not actually killing it maybe we're sort of evaporating it more and it's just going into the atmosphere i mean who knows uh when creeper evaporates does it die will it come down later as a creeper rain I don't know. These are the mysteries of Creeper World. Unfortunately, I am not <laughs> the Creeper Prophet to know such answers. Uh, but let us clear to the edge. I do think we are going to edge all the way to that power source. Uh, and we're going to take the corner. Again, as I said, corners, edges, anything that can separate the creep from everything else, that is what you truly want. And look at this. We have cut it off. We've made it so this is flowing one way, the other is flowing the other way. They're both weaker flows than they were before, which is fantastic. No, stop it. Leave my friends alone. Uh, we're going to do it again, of course, because I let them reconnect. And by them reconnecting, they have regained their same power. Oh, no. Actually, no, they haven't. Uh, we're just going to boop, boop, bam. Get some anti-creep in this line. There we go. Oh, you wanted me so bad. They wanted me so very, very bad. But they can't have me. Uh, they can't. I don't think I've taken a single point of damage yet, which is great. Uh, I will happily take that, and I will happily take that even more so. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we're going to take the top of the hill. King of the hill. Best part of the game. It's essentially the entire point of first-person shooter. King of the hill. We have taken it. It is ours. We're going to drop down some anti creep because they are clearly going to be causing some serious problems. And I'm just going to beeline for the item. There we go. Look at it. Look at it. It's all spinning glory. It spins so fast. It spins so fast it takes off from the ground. What are you going to give us? Uh, we are going to give us more tear upgrades. Okay, okay. You know, I'll... I'm a fan, you know, not exactly what I was hoping for, but I'm a fan, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Uh, let us keep it going, 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 and is this another top of the hill? Do you give us a lot of stuff? You do give us a mortar. You do give us a cannon. You know what? I will take it as a glorious top piece. Uh, we do have a nullifier even. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Feeling pretty good about it all. Mortar does need some power, but that is fine. That is fine. How many things left do we have to nullify is the question. We've only nullified four. So we need to nullify five more things. Now I say five more things. It's technically six, but this is essentially nullified. Let's be real. There it is. Uh, five more things, because that was indeed nullified. So, oh my, look at, look at the depth of the creep over there. This is, uh, <coughs> where's my, uh, flying airship friend when I need him at this point? Uh, I got a little spoiled by the, uh, second map, I think. So, let's make sure we take this item. That is right. It is ours for the taking. And we're going to take this emitter, too, I think. Uh, we could stay near the wall. And again, staying near the wall, I think, is the best. Cannon upgrade, mortar upgrade, beautiful. That's what I want to see. 
this cannon upgrade is actually perfect. Yes. Uh, although this mortar upgrade, look at the mortar. I mean, the mortar is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. That is nuts. Stick into the wall, of course. Uh, and look at that. We even get a nice little benefit of a anti-creep gen patch. Uh, or you could say split breeder or, you know, a dual breeder, you know, all sorts of things. I just call it an anti-creep gen patch because I'm not going to let it generate any more creep. It's just anti-creep from here on out. So, uh, so there. There you go. I'm feeling it. It's feeling pretty good. And, yeah. All right, all right, all right. I think we need some more... Ooh, okay, okay. We're going to... I was going to say, I think I'm just going to mortar a bunch and not really care about this area, but this area just got a little bit more juicy with an M-Rift and a shield and all of that good stuff. So let's try and hold this out. And let's just take out all of that. Oh. Good mortaring does feel better than anything else I would have to say. You know, when you just see, look at the chunks, look at them fall. Oh, it's like, it's just, you can sense the sheer amount of damage that they're doing, you know? Um, now, this area is not the area that I'm going to next, but if I really thin this out, I think it will make everything that I want to do just that much easier. So, as I've said before, look at this. We're gonna we're just going to fill this whole thing in just like that. Look at this. Look at this. We're filling all of this in. It's getting all sorts of anti-creep up, and then that's going to allow us to just take over this entire pool right here. This entire thing, we are just going to start slowly encroaching into... Uh, the creep i mean look at the creep it's already sort of starting to recede which is great and that's because we we split the connection and then i mean i also you know filled the connection in essence uh it's a good time it's a very good time uh this emitter i mean we were just on the other side of the emitter just not long ago and we basically came from behind you know Stop it. You are the problem. You need a nullifier. That nullifier will be safe there. And now we can go back to our pushing potential. Uh, oh, look at it drop. Oh, my. Oh, my. Every mortar is glorious. Again, I'm only doing the far back because if we sever what's coming in... Because I don't really see too much of generation in the path over here. It's mostly flow. So, I want to disrupt that flow as much as possible. Uh, I'd rather disrupt it back there and let my cannons do a lot of work on the front lines. Because every cannon that's shooting right now is essentially clearing out uh, creep that I would just be manually shooting. Whereas now I'm thinning out so much creep that everything that they're killing is essentially not coming back. Right? So if we do this, look at this. I mean, look at how much easy... Look at how small this area is. I mean, even my cannon can just... Bloop, just take out huge swaths of area now. Um, because we took out so much from behind. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good feeling. Again, let's build our wall so we have this point where we're saying no creep from this area. We want to come forward. See, it's making the connection there. We don't want that. We don't want that connection. I want no creep from back here on the front lines any longer. Chips, you're doing great. You look beautiful. You know, Porkins, I, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of Porkins. It's unbelievable. Uh, and by turning this over to us, this might be just the thing that we officially needed to officially take the rest. Uh, I don't know how much of this area can survive without that. Uh, doesn't quite look like there's any other breeder system. And there is another source of power. I should have made a beeline for that earlier. I was taking over a huge swath of land. I'm going to give myself a pass. You know, look at how much we just took with that. We took, we took quite a bit. Uh, but we also just got a nice 16% to our mortar and 18% to our cannon. So, you know, if I had done that, you know, it made things a little bit easier, you know. 
That's 16% easier, if you, if you want to say. Uh, but that's fine. That's fine. Again, we are doing great, and we are just going to thin out the universe. Oh, look at that. We're thinning it out so much. I'm just going to put that there, because why not? Make sure they don't have any uh, extra breeder there. And they'll take it back. That will be taken back. I have no doubt in my mind. But I also don't care. I also don't care, and I think that's the most important thing, is I don't care if they take it back. Because look at that. It's mine again. It's mine again. Um, but let's get the source of power. Oh, you have erupted. Quite the eruption. But even the biggest eruption can be brought low by the Mortair. Uh, there's nothing that we can't accomplish with our powers. Again... We've basically shut down... Oh, no, 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 no. Keep spinning. Keep spinning to the sky. Yes. Oh, uh, a little bit of... Oh, my. Look, look at that sprayer upgrade. Holy moly. 67% to the sprayer. That's nuts. Oh, we're... F oh. That's obnoxious, you know? I mean, that was those were huge upgrades across the board. But that upgrade to the sprayer, 67%. I mean, come on. Did did we officially hit just use the sprayer time? You know? Uh, it is some it is a time that you can definitely hit. I think the mortar is still going to be better for just swaths of land. But at the same time, I mean look at the sprayer there. I mean look at it, just boom, those peaks that it creates. Oh, it's 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 beautiful. It's beautiful. And we're staying against the wall, again. The walls are what's important. And the sprayer just takes the entire wall like that. And the wall is what has the uh, anti-creep generation. Or the creep generation, I should say. Uh, ooh, no, no, no. You will not be destroying my very friendly nullifier there. Um, but look at this. Look, we're, we're literally just invading their lands with the sprayer. Ooh, there we go. And that's the last of that. No more Stash. Thank you very much. Stash, again, y you do the work. You try so hard. But in the end, it just, it just doesn't really matter. And that's okay, Mr. Sprayer. You, I believe in you one day will have a role. Just not today. Uh, I'm going to turn off the Sprayer for a little bit. It's a little annoying to see at times when you're in the middle of the phone party. Um... Boom. But sometimes you want that look at the depth. Oh. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, my. I didn't even notice that we were that close to death. Again, haven't taken any damage, which is great. Uh, I will take it. Uh, we have gotten all of the items. I should have pointed that out when we got that last one. That last one, that was a massive upgrade. It was the, this is your final upgrade upgrade. So that's why it was so massive. Uh, makes sense, but it was quite the massive upgrade. So, you know, a little... I don't want to say too powerful. But, I mean, come on. You know, when you can do this and just not only eliminate the creep, but we're essentially replacing all of the creep with anti-creep on the map just by doing this. Eh, it, it's... It's a little powerful, you know? It's got the goods, so to speak, you know? Oh no, they were spawning over there? They're not anymore. Oh no, there's an emitter here? I, I don't care. Oh, did they take that back area back? Oh, it's ours again, you know? No problems, and again, just elimination. So, 27 minutes, probably be the time we end on. Uh, we do have two nullifiers left. Uh, oh, that one popped on. One nullifier left. This will be it. It is coming up. Fabricator, where are you? All right, I think we're good there. Let's take a look at the map as we get our last nullifier online. Look at that. We've done the hooks. We've, you know, again, we started coming over here, went down this path, came all the way around, and did our little loop-de-loop -loop area. Pretty happy with that. And this has been FPS 1. Again, there is an FPS 8, which I will be doing in the next and last FPS video of this author. 
Uh, that he does have some others, so maybe I'll check those out, but I do want to spread around to other authors first, uh, after 8. I think going through 8, because that's the official numbered series, is a good thing, but then we'll, we'll spread out to some of the other authors. But uh, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you check out some of my other videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of those other good things. If you're new here, please check out the playlist. There's loads of videos at this point. Uh, so thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time. Slight addendum to the video. I do want to just add that uh, this is the time that we did receive. I forgot to mention. 27 minutes. Uh, there's a 23, then a 26, but overall most appear to be in the 30s to the 40s. So, yeah. Pretty good time, pretty good time. Actually, I only see... Uh, there's a 13. Uh, that's the third time that I believe I saw that beat me, so I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling quite above average where I want to be, so thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful day yet again, and take care.